Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr. was one of the greatest inventors of the early 20th century? Each week over the past year, we have looked at different aspects of the life and work of John Hayes Hammond Jr., his museum and collection, and their place in history through episodes of the Hammond Weekly. Our goal for this series was to give you a better understanding and appreciation for Hammond's legacy. While names such as Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Guglielmo Marconi, and Nikola Tesla might more readily come to people's minds when they think of pioneering inventors of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, John Hayes Hammond Jr. deserves to be mentioned in the same breath. Edison came up with the light bulb and the phonograph. Bell patented the telephone. Marconi is credited with developing radio. Tesla helped give us alternating current and today has a famous car company named after him. But Hammond laid the groundwork for radio control and the drones of today, among many other inventions. He was also mentored by Edison and Bell and built upon the work of Tesla and Marconi. Depending on who you ask, Hammond was an eccentric man with eclectic tastes, a pioneering restless genius, a controversial socialite with a mischievous sense of humor, a rich showman who told tall tales, an industrious military contractor, or any combination of the above. On balance, Hammond was a complex, intelligent man with diverse tastes and interests, whose contributions to science helped progress the story of human technology. Hammond predicted as early as 1924 that his legacy was not likely to lie in his career or inventions. He understood that people tend to forget what isn't right in front of their eyes over time. He didn't have a light bulb or a telephone. Even if he had, that was no guarantee that his name would be remembered 100 years later. Almost all of us own or have at least seen a TV in our lives, for example, but how many of us remember Philo Farnsworth? Even Nikola Tesla had faded into obscurity until relatively recent years. And in the end, that's the point. The names of these people might fade over time, but history ebbs and flows. We'd like to think that Hammond's lament that a few students dig us up, the world goes on, need not remain the reality forever. We take technology for granted in modern life, but every device and program we rely upon was once just a thought in someone's mind. But because that person or persons decided to act upon it, to put in countless hours of work to realize their vision, it became manifest and is now used by millions or more every single day. So the next time you're flying a drone or piloting a boat or listening to a record, spare a thought for old Jack Hammond. Thank you for being a part of the Hammond Weekly, and we look forward to bringing you more videos in the future. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there's a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.